So I'm going to show a little bit on the serve uh, since it's uh, quarantine time and uh, stay alone. So I'm going to just do some serving. And first of all, this is when I have control of the ball. It's in my hand. Nothing happens till I serve. So it's really important I'm mentally ready before I make my serve. I take a deep breath. I usually will ex exhale before I start. Um, I, I have. I'm, I like to be playful with the ball. Uh, I, I like this control of, and that comes from tennis. It's like the power is in here. But if I don't get this serve in, I will never have a chance to score. So rule number one is get the serve in the box. And I have the red marker for that. That's in the center of the box. If I am tight and not feeling it, that's where I'm going to aim. As I feel more confident, I'm going to start going out towards the corners. I have my favorite corners, um, but that will come. It's kind of playing pool how I aim. I look at my pocket. I look where I want it to go. Then I come back and watch the ball, and I aim on this ball, the certain spot on this ball that's going to make it go to my pocket over there. So I start with the away target. I come back to my close target. I aim on this close ball right here, close target, and I follow through with my paddle towards the target that I am aiming for. So I preset in my mind exactly where I'm going to hit it, like on a quarter size uh, target. I do not give myself the whole box. I have a very uh, small targets, and when I target shoot, and I try to aim at that. So there's always adjustments that can be made. Um, I'm in my the end of my ritual. I'm ready to serve. The score has been called. <sighs> I take a big exhale. I look at my target. I come back to my ball and, and my ritual begins. My feet are also very important. I shift my weight from the right to the left. So I'm shifting forward as I hit, which keeps me relaxed. If you're not relaxed, you're not going to be able to serve consistently. This is a, a, a no brainer. If you play tennis, it's just a regular forehand low to high shot. Top spin, low to high, follow through uh, with a low to high motion. And uh, as long as you are hitting below your navel and your paddle is below your wrist, you're good to go. So I love to serve. I uh, should not miss any. And um, I, I like practicing it as well. So I'm going to take my deep breath. I'm going to pick my target, which is the deep uh, backhand for my first target. So I start with the back green dot. I bring it back to my ball here and I look down on this ball that I'm hitting to aim and follow through at that target. Here's my ritual. So if I'm close, I'm good. I don't have to hit the target. It's just nice to have a target. My target is never on the line. I always give myself a foot or so off the line. So if I'm a little off, it's still in. I can hit flat. I can hit hard. Then I can go short to the forehand. I come around the right side of the ball a little bit, same beginning, same look, but then I follow through. Um, I hit it kind of over here at five o'clock on the ball and I brush up on the outside. So it's a short angle, but it looks the same as when I'm going deep. So here it goes. You see that I'm just rolling it and I don't hit it as hard. So I have the two opposites, a deep backhand followed by a short forehand. Deep backhand, short forehand. 
weeks. I may get a week return because of those two serves. So when I'm practicing, I try to do this. When I'm feeling it, I'll put a serve like that in, just hoping for a surprise. I can surprise my opponent and they won't hit a great return, upon which we can hit a great third shot and maybe score a point. So I do that when I'm feeling the confidence, but if I'm not confident, it goes right in the middle of the box, such as this. Another one right in the middle. No biggie. So I can be off and it's still in. Now I'm going to go to the deep forehand corner. So I look, point, come back and look, and then hit the ball. So it's kind of point and shoot. But I look over there, I come back to my ball, and then I keep my head down watching the ball. So I'm aiming very specifically on this ball so it gets my target. one which I don't use very much is the short in the middle uh, it could surprise them it could be hard to get because they're so used to the short wide and deep down the middle so short middle can be kind of fun to try um, I'll see if I can make some I got my target. I bend my knees so I'm relaxed and I follow through. So that's the four targets that I like to use on the serve. And um, when I'm not feeling it, I go in the middle. And also, if I'm way better than the opponent, I would never hit the four corners because then they won't return it back. Well, then that's no fun. I want the third shot. The third shot to me is more important than the serve. So the better the opponent, the better I will serve because they need the challenge. And then when they return it back, I'll make my third shot. That is my responsibility as a server is to get the third shot in. And... Um, I'd rather make sure I get a third shot practice than an ace winner. If I was playing the national championships, I would love an ace winner, but my most of my matches are just rec games or practice games, and I want more than one shot, so I don't want to hit a winner they can't return. So I will serve according to my opponent's level, and the weaker they are, the easier I'll take it on the serve to make sure at least I get to hit two balls in this point. They might miss the fourth, but I'm going to at least get two in. So I hope this helps, and I'll uh, check in with you another time. Thanks.